Hi, so I'm going to show you how to resize um, a large sort of print size TIFF file. Uh, so I'm in Photoshop right now. I think this is the CS3 suite. Uh, I'm going to open and I'm looking for a large TIFF file, for example. Use this one. And this image, let's see the image size, is currently 4,368 pixels wide, 2,912 pixels high. Definitely don't need that. Something you need to pay attention to here, though, is the resolution. Uh, we're going to want to play with that number. So um, the first step here would just be resizing it for web, and then I'll also back up and show you how to resize it to a specific size. For, so for example, 600 pixels by 400 pixels. Uh, so this photo, for example, say we just need to put it on a website and you need something that's not massively huge and hopefully under a megabyte. Uh, I would do that by starting up here. I go to, Im oh, make sure you're, you have your image selected. Um, and then you go image, image size. The first step would be to take this resolution down. Um, because 300 is typically for print and uh, web is done at 72. So put your 72 resolution and automatically you'll see that the pixels there change themselves and you know that's sort of adjusted like if I went back to 300 that's your print resolution and we don't need all that so just by changing that to 72 already we just brought you know the file really down um, I think this means that we just took the file down to 2 megabytes instead of 36 megabytes which is awesome so um, right now if I did that if I just left it at 72 here and I click OK then our image already shrunk a lot so if I zoom in you know it's still pixelated but it's it's at a great web resolution this is probably um, you know, suffices for the purposes of using it in a portfolio or uploading it to WordPress to put anywhere else on your website. So now if we were just going to save this uh, not as a TIFF, you know, I'd go File, Save for Web and Devices. Let's leave it at a JPEG. Uh, I usually put it at 80% um, just because, I mean, you can put it at 100 if you want, but right now we see our image is under, it's about 200 uh, kilobytes, which is perfect for web. So I leave it at 80. If you're really picky about the images, you can go up to 100, but you really won't be able to tell the difference between 80 and 100. Uh, 80 just helps the file size, me, the file size stay a little bit smaller, so it'll load faster. So I'll leave it at 80, and I'll save it to my desktop. And you know, here on my desktop now, I would have the JPEG uh, that you could upload. So say for example now. Photoshop back up. Say for example, um, we're going to use this image, but it needs to be 600 by 400. You know, maybe that's the size of your featured image that you need to put in. Um, what I typically like to do, I'll start by creating a new document. So I just did Command N, or here I'll move back this up. Then we go File New. Make sure your resolution's at 72 for web. And then width, let's do 600 and height 400. And then hit OK. And then I'm going to go back to my other image and I'm going to copy it. So I did that by, back, sorry, I'm using short codes here. Um, our rectangle marquee tool, if you just have that anywhere in your uh, box, you know, like over your image, and I do on my keyboard Command A, which is select all. Or you could probably just do. Let's see, edit, nope, that doesn't work. <laughs> right click, nope, yeah. Or you could just, how about this? Select the whole thing and then copy. So I do Command C to copy. So what I'm gonna do is I copied from the other side, the other image that was open and now I'm gonna paste this image in the new document that has the size that we need, the file size. Um, and then uh, you just need to resize the image. So I do Command T, which is just to edit the image, and then I right click and I say uh, free transform. So now I can grab my corners, shrink my image however I like, 
So for example, you know, if we really wanted, we can go, you know, and make it as tight as we want, but say we want to zoom in on perhaps it's like the left side of the feature, the left side of this image perhaps shows, you know, the wall decor a bit better in the lighting. So right now that's that looks about where I'd like it to be. So now we have an image that's perfectly 400 by 600, and I just want to save it. File, save for web and devices, JPEG, again, 80 is fine. Save, let's save it as thumbnail. And that's it, a little thumbnail here. So now we have the two different images. We can upload those to our WordPress website and um, you know, they're not tips, they're not super large files, and they'll load just perfectly. I uh, hope that was helpful.